Apple iPhones are the fastest phones on the market and that's absolutely true for the iPhone 10 as well. It has a brand new chipset inside which is the A11 Bionic and it has 6 core design uh, which can go up to 2.4 GHz. That's very very fast. But also it's built on the 10 nanometer processor which means it's quite modern and power efficient as well. There is one other interesting detail about the processor in this phone and that's the GPU. So the graphics processing unit in the iPhone 10 is the first one designed internally at Apple. It's a three core design and promises to be up to 30% faster than the GPU found in the iPhone 7. 30% is a big power boost for just one year. Now the actual performance in iOS 11 is superb. There's barely a hitch as you breeze around the OS. And if you like to play games on your smartphone, you'll be delighted just how smooth and fine everything moves. There's still the problem with most apps and games that aren't yet optimized for the big screen. So chances are you won't be able to fully immerse yourself and enjoy the superb performance. But once developers get this done, then your games will both run and look incredible. Now let's talk storage. So the iPhone 10 for $1,000 comes with 64 gigabytes of internal storage, which is fine, but admittedly not the most generous offer. For $150 more, you can get it with 256 gigabytes of internal storage, and now that's something. But, well, let's face it, if you're gonna be paying $1,000 for this phone, you might as well just pay $1,150 and get it with 256 gigs of internal storage. And then maybe, you know, just skip lunch for the next couple of years.